hello friends welcome to code crush coding in this video we are going to learn about comments in css so how to provide comments in css so what are basically comments so css comments are not displayed in the browser but they can help document your source code so basically the comments are additional information that you want to provide in your code so basically what the particular tags and what the particular file in your project is doing you want to specify that in a document format so you can provide that with the help of comments so comments are used to explain the code and may help when you edit the source code at a later date so let's say you have developed one code and if you want to revisit the code after many days or months so whatever you have done the progress you want to provide that information in your code so you can write that particular information in your file with the help of comments so let's see how we can provide these comments in our html and css code so this is my uh, selector demo.html file here i have three tags h1 tag h3 tag and the paragraph tag and i have linked this html file to one of the css file which is selector.css so this is my selector.css file here i have h1 tag background color red h3 tag background color blue and p tag background color as orange if i show you the output of this code so this is the output for this particular code simple selector css learning and welcome to code crush learning so let's say in our code i want to provide some comments so if you have seen the html tutorials in that also we have covered how to provide comments in the html file so in html file you can provide comments with the help of exclamation and this double slash line and you need to close this so you can close this in this particular way and you can provide information here let's say you can say here below are three tags below are three tags so this is just the additional information it doesn't displayed on your browser so if i show you in the browser here So it is not displayed on the browser if i refresh the browser here see we are not getting that information here but in the file you can see it is mentioned below are three tags so that is useful if someone sees that particular file and in the css you can provide the comments with the help of let let me show you in the css file you can say if i want to provide a comment you can slash and you need to provide a star so see entire thing is comment out so you need to close this so you can close in that particular fashion so you need to start it by slash and star and close by star and slash and here you can provide the additional information let's say uh, here i can say h1 h1 has background color background color red so this is the information that i want to show to the developer who is developing that particular file let's say this h1 tag or selector is providing the background color as red so in similar fashion i can provide your information as so you need to comment this and say h h3 has color color blue and you need to close this tag so if you want multi line you can also provide your multi line comments as well you need to provide your information like this is h3 selector or element selector element selector and you can close this here so this is so this is basically the multi line comment and this was the single line comment so if i save this and refresh the browser there will be no difference on the browser because these are just comments that does not display on the browser so another feature of comments is what let's say now for this paragraph tag we have selected the orange color so what you can do i don't want this orange color so i want to comment out this if i comment out this particular thing so now as you know whatever is there inside the comments that is not displayed on the browser now this time this element p is inside this comment tag so the background color orange will not be displayed now in the browser let me save this 
and refresh the browser now so see that particular paragraph tag that we have provided here which had the background color orange is not getting reflected on our browser because we have provided comment for that particular section so this was all about the css comments so you need to make use of them to explain the code that particular file what the function of that particular file is doing so that's it for the comments we will see another topics of css in next video thank you for watching